Hi everyone. As a part of Spark Foundation internship, I worked on building a decision reclassifier for Iris dataset. Iris dataset is a flower dataset where it has four features indicating the dimensions of the flower and a target variable indicating different light classes of the flower. Now let's walk through the project. This is the project which I worked on. Uh, here I am uh, importing the required libraries NumPy and Pandas for data processing, MATLAB and Seaborn for visualization, and uh, SQLon datasets for importing datasets. I am reading the Iris dataset. Uh, let us see the shape of the Iris dataset. It has 150 observations with 5 columns. It is somewhat like this. Uh, sepal length, sepal width, petal length and petal width are its features and species. This is the target variable indicating the different classes of the flower, flowers. Uh, these are the different uh, features along with the target variable. And let us see the uh, frequency of the classes in our target variable. As all the classes are equally distribu distributed, uh, this data is a balanced data set. As seen that there are no missing values in the data in this data set. Uh, let us visualize the petal and sepal dimensions. If I pl plot a scatter plot against the sepal length and sepal width, here we can observe that class 0 flowers are having small sepal length and large sepal width, which is quite opposite in the case of uh, class 2. And here we can linearly separate if we draw a line like this and line like this and we can uh, separate uh, class 0 uh, from class 1 and class 2. Like if we draw a line here, we can say that the uh, flowers falling this side uh, above the linear boundary are classified as class 0 flowers and the uh, flowers falling this side are classified as class 1 or class 2 but it is not uh, uh, it is not possible to classify class 1 and class 2 flowers with a linear boundary because they are overlapping here with these dimensions so we require the complex decision boundary to separate class 1 and class 2 flowers uh, le let's see the scatter plot uh, which is plotted against petal length and petal width here uh, class 0 flowers are having small petal length and small petal width which is quite opposite for the class 2 and it is observed that all the classes are uh, following a linear variation in petal length and petal width now let's analyze the distribution of petal and sepal dimensions. Uh, distribution of sepal length. Here we can say from this distribution it is uh, lightly right skewed and petal width is following almost the normal distribution. But there are no patterns in petal length and petal width. And uh, let us analyze the correlation between the features and the target variable. We can know that uh, petal, petal length and petal width are highly correlated with the target variable. Whereas petal length and petal width are highly correlated itself too. And uh, sepal length and sepal width are not at all correlated and we can know from this value. Uh, now I am splitting the data for train and test, uh, train 80% and test 20% and separating the features and the target variables and fitting a decision tree classifier for train and test for train uh, for the training data and testing for the test data. I am getting an accuracy of 93% which is quite good. Uh, so I am building the and building the decision tree classifier 
for the entire data which is observed here. Let us visualize the decision tree which I built. I am importing the required libraries for uh, visualizing the decision tree. Here, uh, the parent node is taken as a petal length while the, where the rule is created, whether the petal length is uh, less than or equal to uh, 2.45. If it is 2, the observations falls into this bucket. If it is false, the observations falls into this bucket. Here, uh, the values are indicated as a three values. Uh, if you have value here, it means the observations. These number of observations are falling under class 0. And here, class 1 and class 2. Here, From here, we can know that this is an homogeneous node indicating all the observations of class 0. Let us see the other leaf nodes. See, here if we observe all these leaf nodes, it is indicating the homogene homogeneous, uh, homogeneous which, in, which is indicated by the Gini index. Here all the green uh, leaf nodes are indicated by the class 1 and the purple green node purple nodes are indicated by the class 2. That's all about this project, a successfully implemented decision tree classified for the iris dataset.